Pencils down. Mm. That's it. Pencils mm. down. We have begun. This is number three, four, four. When did they put us down, Eddie? When did they four. say we... Four. Three hundred and forty later. Here we are. Still alive. Still, and I don't know if you knew this, but we have we have a Twitter handle. It's at Podcast Ramble One for as long as Twitter. You know, we're not paying. No, Cody has tried to get us to give Elon the eight bucks. We're not doing it. He pitches Guys, us every day. It's every just day. eight bucks. It's <laughs> a, as Jason Whitlock says. He spends that much a day on toilet paper. I'm touched right yeah. on toilet paper. <laughs> um, so it's God. I. <laughs> He's like, automatically in the stall of fame. We don't. Oh do my god! There's no. Uh, like, there's no voting there's or anything. There's no voting he's for him. He's in. Immediately like, in the but just, I know he's already been roasted for that, rightfully so. But that'd be just like that'd be like, oh, for God, I spend eight bucks a day, never getting laid. Like that's the same type of, you know, <laughs> like why would you anyway? Uh, Instagram at podcast ramble, YouTube the ramble tube. Ugh. Follow us on YouTube. We have a T Public page with merch. We do. How about that? How about that? Uh, I think Cody listened to you know who his chick, mm. and he's. I think he did a new merch page for her. So we're gonna have to wait for ours. But whatever. Is that, is that what the holdup is? I, what, I Magic mean, the Gathering merch. A Magic the Gathering merch. <laughs> Look, I mean, when you have some of the branded items that we're working on. All right. It takes I, a little look, bit of time. All right. Okay. I can't get mad but, at that. You know. Point made. I can't get mad at Point that. Point made. Um, we're still at 137, five stars. Ulster 97's fan is still our king of the hill with positive text reviews. So if any, not, we're not saying we want Ulster 97 to go down. No. But if anyone wants to knock them off the top, now's your chance. And to give us another five-star rating, it's important. It's imperative. just important. It's imperative. We're going to start with uh, the, the great Damien Botriel. Bats. 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 Hi, Ramblers, Eddie and Cody. Last week was a tough one. I mean, seriously? On a goddamn palindrome episode? Yeah. I contemplated burning my Ramble hoodie and shirt. Wow. Selling all my Black Series figures and smashing oh. my DVD of Transformers and movies. Like oh. Man. I hope everyone else is doing okay after email gate. Jerry said he hoped he would do better on Ramble 1000. He seriously thinks he'll be on the show until then. I can only oh. assume that Ramble Corporate has removed Jerry from his position of power and that Eddie and wow. Cody can begin the healing process. What did I miss? Wow. Well, I forgot the emails again. It, oh. It was, and it's I like two to, out of the last three weeks. Yeah, mm. and I forgot to give a top five. Mm. So now it's Beach Boys songs to Eddie's chagrin. Ugh. And surprisingly, maybe... I don't know how they're not up in... The greatest American rock and roll bands ever, but to the chagrin of a few Ramblers as well. Yeah, the they Beach suck. I, Beach they, Boys they, suck. They're so good. They they're every so song good. and they made one song and then copied it a thousand no, times. No, uh, they did not. You can't you can't include Pet Sounds in that. Exactly. Thank you. Band pet Sounds. Oh my God. Yes. Cody with the mic drop with the absolute mic. Like, anyway, yes for a lot of their other stuff. But or the al- early shit, absolutely. But that album is. I didn't get to the uh, the later shit because the early shit tuned me out. Well, and then Kokomo didn't help. Mm. Kokomo uh-huh. didn't. Uh-huh. Yeah, Kokomo uh-huh. did not help. Oh, but that's not on listen- Pet Sounds. Shit. All right, maybe I changed my mind. Wait, what was that? <laughs> I said it's not on Pet Sounds. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Aruba, Jamaica. That's a terrible song. I will give you Kokomo most of their songs horrific. are terrible songs, dude. You gotta listen to Pet Sounds. You gotta listen to Pet Sounds. I'm t- and who knows if Smiley Smile could have ever actually happened? Oh my God, what a one-two punch that. Anyway, um, they, so uh, Graham and Faye, greetings to the Great White North, fellow Graham and Faye! Ramblers. Jeez, the evil commish takes one lousy week off to move and the ramble just falls apart. Afterthought, request request via Ramble 342. Goth Jerry in the gym whilst playing Hungry Eyes while gazing lovingly into the mirror while seductively sipping on a protein shake. I'm pretty sure we need a retro road to YouTube video of this. It might be coming. It might be coming. And now, <laughs> I haven't read through all the emails yet. I've just pasted the appropriate locations where they go on the rundown sheet. Right? Uh-huh, yeah. But... As far as I know, Owen Edmonds months, 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 was the only one who, wow. Now, he said, I don't have to read this. 
He said it's a very sore spot for his family, but that he's doubtful they're ramblers. Okay. Here's the situation. That's, I blame him. If he hasn't indoctrinated them as ramblers yet, that's, I know. that's on him. I know. Following on from your discussion in 343, I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to tell a current situation that is happening in my family. Oh. One of my cousins, let's call him Barry, okay, started Barry. dating a woman 16 years ago. She okay. had a five-year-old son. Let's call him Mike. Grew up calling him Dad. That's right. He's now 21 years old. Great uh-huh. math, he says. All good, right? Anyone can be a father. It takes a lot to be a dad. True. And he was a good stepdad to the kid. Well, Barry's son, Mike, uh, met, had three kids, and married his high school sweetheart, Sarah. Oh, they nice. had three kids before Lovely. either of them were 21. With their first kid at 16. Look, they live in bumfuck Canada. I don't think they have a TV. So give them a break (laughs) and some condoms, he says. It was all going well until two years ago when Barry and his missus split up. She just left him. Didn't tell anyone why. Just up and left. That's sad. So he kept being a stepdad to Mike, and he was doing well. I've not spoken to the mom since she left. Fast forward to New Year's. Just gone when Mike's wife left him. It turns out she had been messaging Barry with sexy pictures in comments quite a lot of sexy pictures quite a lot of nude sexy pictures who needs a tv (laughs) (laughs) who needs a tv just decent reception yeah however it turned out that this was just the tip of the iceberg barry now 44 had been fucking his son's then 19 year old wife for several months before they split yep you heard me right Barry's now ostracized from the family. We all know it takes two to tango, but you don't fuck your son's wife who's only 19 years old. And this was while they were still married. Yes. It is a very strange and weird time to be in my family at the moment. Oh. Peace and love, but not that kind of love. Wow. You know what I mean. Thanks for the story. Wow, Owen Edmonds. Wow. 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 You know what? I think this is a perfect time. Seven minutes and ten seconds. Cody, if you don't mind rocking the intro and everyone at home in Woo. the world, if you know, sing along. And could this be dedicated to Uncle Barry and his stepdaughter, Sarah? I don't know. What do you think? Let's, I, I, I did not pick this. I did not pick this. But here we come. Driving home this evening. Could have sworn we had it all worked out. You had this boy believing way beyond the shadow of a doubt. Well, I heard it on the street. I heard you might have found somebody new. Well, who is it, baby? And tell me what it means to you. I took it off for granted, but how was I to know that you'd be letting go? Now it cuts like a knife, but it feels so right. (laughs) Yeah, it cuts like a knife. (laughs) <laughs> but it feels so right. Na 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 na. Oh, that was complete coincidence. That really was complete coincidence. Na na na. Cuts like a knife, but it feels so right. And you know, Owen brought up one that was left out of the discussion. Yeah. Fucking a stepkid's wife. That that. Whoo. Uh, wow. Damn. Damn. Wow. Well, we know why Uncle Barry was such a good father. He was playing the long game. Very attentive. <laughs> playing, playing the long, the long game. game. He probably told Mike what kind of girls he should start dating. You know what I mean? He's, He's like, how about that one? Yeah, but number. I think you should call her, Mike. That's what I think. And what is she thinking? I, woo, man. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Mm. Well, here we mm-hmm. go. Mm-hmm. You, know, it's, you know what? We're here. Boston should be in the Hall of Fame. Let's, it's, it's time for a song, Cody. Hall yeah. of Fame hat time. Why not? Yeah. Why not? We're here. Well, what hat would they wear? <laughs> Whew. You know, it's, it's weird, but that's the first time that that exquisite harmonica sounds. It's been a have, minute. Have played in this brand new apartment. Wow. So wow. what should we expect? Like now, is this like a, is I this would, like a, a special kind of christening that's just happened to my new I would, place? You probably had several orgasms throughout the apartment building. Yes. People yeah. in the other apartments. Right. Just everywhere. Simultaneously all came. Wow. I can imagine. You might just 
<laughs> I could imagine. Do I need to give a warning out? I should probably. You might want to put like a flyer up by the mailbox. <laughs> right. Some community right. area. Just right. beware. Well, wait a minute. Your neighbors are pregnant. Like maybe six months. I think I just heard her give birth. She may have just I given think, birth. It may have induced. Just... Induced. Wow. Wow. That's the run. That's the risk you take when you wow. play it. Amazing. Amazing. Mm. Um, <laughs> the American Dream, Dustin Jacobs. You go foreplay long time. I. That's a good. Just Joshua Snyder. Hello, Ramble. I hope this episode finds you in a better mood and an enthusiastic pencils down. Kick things off. They did. Cody is a very somber pencils down that started very, three four three. Very somber pencils um, down. Hall of Fame hat for Boston. More than a feeling. Damian Botriel. Bot. Oh, sorry. Snites. 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 Botriel says Bots. more Bots. than a feeling. Bot. Graham and Faye. Song. I'm not sure I can actually pick a song, but just a thought in regards to Boston not being in the Rock and or Roll Hall of Fame. Boston's album, their debut album, Boston. Perhaps the best demo album of all time? Yes, correct. Their first album was just a compilation of their demo songs? Insane. Wow. Truly wow. one of the best complete albums of all time. Just look at the track list. Come to think of it, seeing as Ramble Corporate is slacking. Maybe that would make a good top five. Best complete albums of all time. Oh. So Graham and Faye just do the entire debut album. And you know what? David, that's it. That's next ramble. 345's top best five. Best complete albums best of complete, all time. Best complete top to bottom great albums of all time. Eddie, Chronic. I don't know how I don't know how Pet Sounds doesn't go in there. No, it doesn't. I don't Chronic. Know I'm telling you right now. Chronic, Chronic. 10. Kiss verse. Dynasty? Kiss Dynasty. No, no. Chronic 10 verse. And I got to Kiss, Rock, more. and Roll Over. Kiss, Rock, and Roll Over. What, no. Cody, which is a Kiss album where they're all like arm in arm and they're like doing almost like it looks like uh, they're kind of walking arm in arm. What's that? Fuck. What's that? Talking about that Destroyer? One. That's it. Destroyer? Eddie, come no. on. No. Um. They're Owen Ed- stupid. Owen Edmonds back, back. Owen Edmonds is back. Um, after that, oh. hell of a revel- family revelation. Wow! Thank you he- for sharing with all the ramblers. You. He goes Boston more than a feeling. What a tune. Sean Williams. Hey Jerry, Eddie, and a space reserved for the guy either at day baseball having a three way with Sarah makes you want to up Chuck up Chuckabee Sanders up and Marjorie Chuck-a-bee Taylor Sanders. Green though clearly a redneck. Hall of Fame hat. Honorable mention goes to four play long time for the Hall. It's got to be Boston's more than a feeling. What else could it be? Anthony Fl- Anthony born to run Flores. Ah, Jerry, yeah. Eddie. Uh oh, Cody. Cody, mm-hmm. do you mm-hmm. real quick before I finish reading this? Do you want to maybe when when I read this next part, you want to give us one of these little victories, whatever your victory move is. Yeah. Jerry, Eddie, definitely not Cody. What he's now, here. motherfucker? He's wow. here. Why wow. he's back? Is Mi he gente. back? <laughs> Guys, my reign is over. I'm a humbled man. This is the way. It's time for me to go and find myself. I'm going full Aaron Rodgers. When I come back, it's time to climb Everest again to retake the Ramble World title. So I'm Boston and meh. They're fine as a whole. I do love more than a feeling. So I'll go with that song for the hat. I I did not go more than a feeling. And it wasn't I wasn't trying to be contrarian. Okay. I just my favorite Boston song. And I think it's just such a fucking great tune. Sells more than a feeling. It's really 1A, 1B. But I had to go foreplay long time. I just love the foreplay intro. The And then it's been such a long time. I mean, fuck. It just... That... the Like Graham said, every song on their debut album is enough to put them in the Hall of Fame. Just by itself. How they're not is insane. Because there is no go? Hall of Fame. There is. That's roll. right. That's true. That's true. Um, I had the same two that you did, but I, I look at I look at the Hall of Fame as sort of like, what are they known for? It's like when you, when right. you put like when you put Babe Ruth in the Hall of Fame, he you play you put him for the team he's most known he played for the, the Yankees. Yankees, even though he won titles with the Red Sox. Right, doesn't matter. I don't you know not more than feeling not my favorite Boston song, but right. when you think of Boston, you can't help it that song pops in your head. So That's I went with one. more than a feeling for that reason. Cody, what did you pick for maybe the greatest air guitar band ever? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think the uh, I, I, Eddie's approach is usually my approach, which is like, what are they known for? What is right. the best thing? But also, there's an argument to be made for like, what is the best representation of, right? in this case, the band? Right. And for me, that is why Foreplay Long Time slightly edges out more than a feeling for me. 
just because it, it, it kind of gives their best their the experimentation that proggy yeah. opening mm-hmm. to it goes because foreplay by itself should i mean i love it but it should never see the light of day in a modern radio rock tune, right? Yeah. And yet Long Time is one of the greatest hard rock pop songs ever written. Yeah. So it's just amazing. Yeah, and I think you also have, um, like, it just, like, to me, what the best thing about Boston is, like, when the rhythm guitar drops out and it's oh. just the two leads. Amazing. Oh, fuck. And so. That's great. Uh, Ramble 345. Oh. Can, you got, oh, no. can we give knuckles across the cheek or something? Can we do something here? Un chingazo, can we? Un chingazo. <laughs> can we? I, Man. What, honey, what are you looking for? You put a muzzle on that bra? Put a muzzle. I can't, are your headphones? I don't know. We need some um, mouth phones. <laughs> okay. Ramble three, four. Boy, I'm the one who needs some headphones. If you can. I got it. Uh, Ramble 345. Sneaker. Is it the Air Jordan? Is it the Chuck Taylor? Ooh. What's going in? Reebok pumps. The Reebok pump. (laughs) (laughs) What sneaker? There it is. It's time to open. Cody, we're already at open, close, and on. Are we really? All right. Isn't that crazy? Jeez. Open, close, and encore. What the fuck? I wish you guys could see this. What? So we live, Eddie. You saw. There's that I've big, like seen. nature trail that's right yeah. behind our. Wi- it looks right. like fucking Bambi. There's like 40 animals out there just suddenly showed up <laughs> right now. This is crazy. They're just staring at my window. Oh, Eddie, that it's like a horror should've... movie starts that. What horror movie starts? But they that look way? very happy and peaceful. That's Was it? Gonna, they're going to eat you. No. Was it the song that played that brought them out there? I Maybe. think that's Ed, well, Eddie. You should have given been me the a harmonica. heads up. Why didn't you give me a heads up that this would happen? Because <laughs> it's I've never played it out in the wild. I didn't know it would have that effect. Yeah, but you knew though. I knew, yeah. but I didn't. I didn't want to say. Oh God, I this is bad. Just uh, don't do it while you're in the water. You know what? Here's don't play the it while you're in the water. We haven't <laughs> we haven't heard it for so long. Cody, I'm sorry, but I don't know what we can... Guys! Hello! Just, wow! Uh, my dick just got bigger and harder than it's ever been in my life! What just happened? There it is. Uh, is he allowed he's, on this show? He's not he's contractually not. allowed That's on this show. That's what's crazy. That's what's crazy about this. Wow. So, uh. <laughs> the American dream... This is the one and only James Brown. Maybe the most important... Contributor to modern music, it's either him or Louis Armstrong, right? It, or both? Maybe it's them two, and then I don't know who you Little have. Little Richard, Ew, James Brown did all that. I, I mean, Little Richard was uh, fantastic, but I, to me, everyone's just nipping at those two heels. I don't know. I maybe you could say Robert Johnson because James Brown never went blues, blue like that type of blues. But fuck, I mean. James Brown. Anyways, this this was impossible to know because the American Dream Dustin Jacobs says you open with get up, get off that thing, just in case you didn't get it the first time. You close with it's a man's world. You encore with Rocky IV's very own Living in America. Joshua Snyder. 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 Open with get, another get up off of that thing. JB has a lot of tracks which encourage us to get but this one's the hardest to resist. You close with Living in America, you encore with Hot Pants. Has great punch and energy to end the show. And with so many ladies rocking yoga pants these days, the speed of the song is timeless. True. It's night. Damien Botriel. But he opens with Living in America, complete with Apollo Creed entrance. Okay. He closes with I Got You, I Feel Good. He encores with the old landmark from the Blues Brothers. The movie plays in its entirety to close the show. Look wow. Wow. Graham and Faye, James Brown, the godfather of soul, Brown. Open with I feel good if I had a ramble. Wow, the shots Graham is taking. Wow. He closes with Papa's got a brand new bag, a top five list. Encore, please, please, please. Give us a ramble list. All right. Jeez. Harumph. Owen Edmonds, you open, close, encore. James Brown, you open with get up, feel like being a sex machine. Close with I got you. Knew that I would. Was that Barry's favorite song? It might be. It might be. You encore with it's it's a man. Well, these are all Uncle Barry tunes, I think. 
Uncle Barry playlist. The only thing, the, the only song missing from the <laughs> Uncle Barry playlist is the. <laughs> It's the Gary Puckett, <laughs> young girl, get out of my mind. My love for you is uh, way. Oh, and we're sorry. If sorry. only he would have heard that song. I know, right? Would have been different. He would have not. He could have wisened up. He, you he listened run, to it, girl. but he didn't hear it. <laughs> well, it doesn't help that the song still blames the fourteen-year-old. I mean, if, if you listen to the lyric, he still puts it on her. Um, (laughs) 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 this is the uncle barry episode sean williams says he opened with i feel good close with say it loud i'm black and i'm proud and you encore with the song that killed apollo creed Ah. living in america anthony born to run flores this open close encore had me pretty stoked to open the show the arena goes dark and the national anthem begins to play as the soul video screen comes alive on that screen, as Apollo Creed, as the national anthem finishes up, the Godfather of Soul comes alive on stage with Living in America. Then he closes the blistering medley of Superbad, The Boss, and The Payback before encoring with Get Up Off of That Thing. Also, never forget his infamous coked out post spousal abuse arrest on CNN Ooh. interview. You remember that one, right, Cody? Oh, You've yeah. seen mm-hmm. that one. Yeah, yeah. I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Papa got a brand new bag. <laughs> Just rattling <laughs> off his hits. Oh, I had to go. I opened with the payback. You have to. Yeah. You have to. I closed with I Got You, I Feel Good. I encore. Papa's got a brand new bag. Eddie? I open with uh, I Got a Feeling. Oh. I oh. close with Papa's Got a Brand New Bag. Mm. And then, of course, I encore with Living in America. There we go. Cody? Yeah, so I uh, I open with uh, get up off of that thing. Oh, so good. I close with it's a man's world, and I uh, encore with I got you. Wow, fucking look at that! What what concerts we've all made? Thank you. Next ramble three forty five, the Alan Parsons project, baby. Open, close, and encore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> The AP prod, the APP, 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 APP is there no you know street. I mean, do you think we break the record for submissions for that one? Or <laughs> <laughs> I think this ramble email server just shut down. <laughs> or, or I'm just throwing it out there. Do yeah. we do an Uncle Barry's playlist? Open, close, and on. <laughs> is that? Let's do that. Let's do Uncle Barry's playlist. That's no. better. <laughs> Now let me ask you this: is, That's it, Uncle. Cl- is, oh, sorry, Alan Parsons project. <laughs> it could be on there. Who knows? Hey, you can. Have, uh, the, that's what busted him. The eye in the sky, looking at you. <laughs> I I have a question. Yeah. So this may be open to interpretation, but is sealing the deal considered a closer or an encore? Ooh. Ooh. Because like you could think yeah. of like closer as like getting close and then encore, right? right. Is, but or is like the closer and then encore is round two or like yeah, I ooh because you open with or is your... encore the pillow talk? The yeah, the, the well, I think the, op- the opener has to be you come on Four like play. a dream, peaches and cream, <laughs> lips like strawberry. You're sixteen, you're beautiful, and you're mine. Like that has to be. <laughs> The open. I think we lost Owen Edmonds. Can we just say he's probably <laughs> never going to listen? He to derambled. I think he, he derambled. derambled. <laughs> we lost him. But <laughs> Uncle Barry's playlist. <laughs> Young girl, get out of my mind. Open, close, and encore. Uncle Barry's playlist. Oh, Cody, it's reading and video playing now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Any, any other ramp? Playing video games. <laughs> Bring your pussy over here. We're reading books and playing games. <laughs> what the deer do? They're all fucking right now, huh? That's not even the weirdest part. Hmm. The the fucking coyotes and mountain lions are fucking the deer. Oh. Interspecies fucking and wow when that just played yeah every car in the lot just turned on by itself eh, happens eddie it's electric jesus christ. christ what i was saying was every yeah. any ramblers out there that have any other personal family stories that they want to <laughs> share with us that can please, bring down the family please feel free 
and we can you incorporate it into our list. Right. We don't want Owen Edmonds to be alone with having the shame of the Uncle Barry family. <laughs> We don't look. Please. I have. I look. There. I got at least, I know at least two uncles who would pull an Uncle Barry. So don't feel bad, <laughs> Owen Edmonds. Oh God, Damien Botriel. But that's still meeting Mythos by still reading Mythos by Stephen Fry. I just picked up Cyberpunk 2077 on sale on Steam. So I'm going to start that again. I played for a bit in the PS5 last year, but struggled to get into it at the time. Fingers crossed I'll have a better time on the PC. Sean Williams, I'm getting back into reading Transformers, The Covenant of Primus. It's like the Bible of the Transformers, stemming all the way to pro- from the Primes to Unicron, their god and devil, to the creation of the 13 Primes, which is, I, I, I'm sure Cody did everything in his power to not roll his eyes because he has that entire lore tattooed. Yeah. On your back shoulder, right? Yeah. I think every yeah. thief from... He can recite it backwards. Yeah, <laughs> from the uh, Primes to the Unicron. All, <laughs> yep. all on Cody's back, sh- right shoulder. <laughs> now, I've heard you fired several different tattoo artists who just didn't get it right, right? Is that true, Cody? I mean, yeah. I mean, when something means that much to you, you right. can't, you right. know, if someone's, if you commission someone to do a painting and they yeah. use the wrong brush, you know, you're going to yeah. get pissed. You so want all the that. primes in order. In order. Ain't mad at that. Ain't mad at that. Anthony Flores, the Born to Run. I'm currently deep in Devil May Cry 5. What a fun game. The fluid combat for each of the three playable characters makes the game a fantastic time. Highly recommended. And yes, you could jump right into 5 because it comes with the video explaining the entire story up to that point. Very good to know. That's always nice. Um, right now I'm still playing Octopath Traveler 2. Can't wait for the Xenoblade 3 uh, DLC that drops uh, probably today when you're hearing this. And I just got Dead Island 2 because I loved part one. Who do you voodoo bitch? Um, there was a rap song at the beginning of yeah. Dead Island 1. So I'm very excited for this. Uh, what do you, and I finished The Curator by friend of the Ramble, soon to be return guest of the Ramble, Owen King. Ah. With that is being worked out by Ramble Corporate right now when we're going to get Owen back. And I'm going to have... See, Cody wasn't there. You weren't there for when Owen scolded no. me, were you? No. no. Cody. No. So Cody is going to... And being the film critic, Cody can provide all the backup Owen needs in right. explaining that no, Unicron was not the greatest thing Orson Welles ever did. But... I it, think was, it, it was, in fact, the boxed wine commercials, I believe. It was the... Oh! Ernest and Julio Gallo. Yeah. <laughs> you guys reading or playing anything, Eddie? Um, I'm not playing anything because I'm Col- Colton's hogging the, the PS5 that right now. Motherfucker. Playing uh, Grand Theft Auto V. Yep. He switched between that and Red Dead Redemption 2. Perfect. And there's just so much walking around in Red Dead Redemption yes, 2. It's so boring. It is a long, that game slow bored game. The fuck out of me. I was, I, I just, just, I can't. I was like, I can't do this. There's some stuff I'm watching, like, oh, that's kind of cool. But then it's just like, it's so yes long. It's, it's, it's. Whew. Cody, but, you reading or playing anything? Not yet, but I just got the the comedy Bang Bang book, oh, and so ah, nice. I'll be reading nice. that soon. There we go. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I, th- Eddie. That's why I stopped playing Red Dead. I was just like, I just don't care. I just yeah, it, I'm like, it's too slow. I don't care. It's tough. It's tough. It, it is. I can't imagine watching it and not even playing it. It's You're just rough. watching somebody press X to run for it's 30 rough. minutes. I mean, it's kind of cool when you fucking gut and skin a, a deer and then throw sure. it over the horse. But sure. then after that, it's I don't <laughs> yeah, know. not I, worth the 20 minute wait. I'm looking to forward to Jedi Survivors minute. coming out, I think, next week. So yeah. well, this week, yeah. I believe. So we're looking forward to that. Now, shouldn't they get Destiny's Child to re-record Survivor for that? You would think. You I'm a they... survivor. I'm not going to give up. A Jedi survivor. Jedi, Jedi survivor. survivor. <laughs> Who's saying no? I'm not saying no. I'm not. For sure. My God, gang, we've done it. We were kind of on a time crunch today. I, we might pull this off. It's time. God damn it. We're already in our time Woo! top five. Can you believe this? Can you believe it? It's we the made time it. of the show what, where what, we rank, rank the top ten. Bye. 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 Unbelievable. Mm. There's several helicopters just hovering now. Yeah. It's just. So they're going to start fucking soon. That's crazy. Yeah. The cars fucking. are all fucking now. Jesus Christ. Eddie, man. <laughs> Joshua Snyder. It's nice. 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 This was tough, man. Top five Beach Boys songs for a lot of us. Eddie, not tough for Eddie. This was probably tougher for Eddie, I guess. Because you have to pick five songs. Of all Joshua I hate. St- 
Josh Schneider says, I by no means have the hate that Eddie does for the Beach Boys, but I don't love most of their cheesy popular tracks like Little Deuce Coop, etc. Admittedly, the more romance-focused songs take me back to growing up in Cali and at the time the beach was seasonal summer lady fling. Yes, even in the 90s. Number five. Wouldn't it be nice if we were older? Come on. Tremendous. No. Number four, Kokomo. This Ugh. song showed they could still be a uh. solid song. Plus John Stamos flaming in a pink tank on drums. Oh. Number three, don't worry, baby. Everything will turn out all right. Number two, and I don't know how this isn't on everyone's top three at least. God only knows. An all-timer on any list. God only knows what I'd be without you. And then my his number one, what else could it be? I'm picking up good vibrations. She's giving me excitations. Good to see Cody making more time for the ramble. I was becoming salty that he wasn't prioritizing it, but he belongs in the staple. Uh, day baseball, Josh. You, know, you don't understand day baseball. If, Always appreciate you guys. If people only knew why day I'm baseball. not here so often. Right? Day baseball? <laughs> Jesus. No. <laughs> Let, let's just say there's an intention to be here every week. And then, uh, and then, uh, you know, there's fires there's, you got to put out. There's fires stuff, to put out. Fires to put out. Then you have to go see movies like every like every week. There's a different screening. I mean, come on now. Loving to be done. Ba on, <laughs> Damien Patriel, Potts. Number five. Nothing for this one, Eddie. Ba 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 ba. No. Man. Ba ba ba. I ba, hate ba, all of these songs. Man. Number four. Wouldn't it be nice? Number three. Kokomo. Kokomo. Uh, surprisingly, making a run. Number two, God only knows. Number one, good vibrations. In hindsight, um, let's see here. In hindsight, Jerry messing up worked in my favors. I didn't write an email for the three hundred for three forty three in time. All is forgiven. See you guys next time. Cheers, Damien Bachriel. Bots. Graham and Faye, Beach Boy songs. Bah. Ramble rule bender enabled. What's that evil commish? Top five hair metal band song openings. If you insist, Jerry. Number five, Metallica for Who the Bell Tolls. Was Metallica a hair metal band? Number four, mm. ACDC Thunderstruck. No. Was ACDC a hair metal band? No. no. Number three, Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy wasn't hair no. metal. No, no Crazy was Train. Number two, Van Halen. Hot. Th Van Halen wasn't hair metal. Hot I mean, teacher. Jump. They kind of maybe dabbled. Right. I mean, and Molly yeah, Crew did at uh, the was, crew it? The was hair metal. They were hair metal for a minute. Right. Possibly the best eighties hair. Poison metal was hair time. metal. Yes. Number one, he, I think this is the first hair metal band. Europe, the final countdown. You know, like if you were to count down from five, P.S. Fuck Cancer, Ramble Off, Graham and Faye, Winnipeg A. Give Faye our best, Graham. Thank you for writing in. Um, you can go rogue, but you went rogue on your own going rogue, Graham. <laughs> you went rogue, but then you went rogue on said rogue and was like, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to call Pantera hair, hair metal. I'm going to call a, a Metallica hair metal. Um, all right. Owen Edmonds. <laughs> Uncle Barry's own. Owen Edmonds. Top five Beach Boys. <sighs> Honorable mention goes to Dennis Wilson's Holy Man, specifically the Taylor Hawkins version. Beautiful. Number five. Go on and Sloop John B. My grandfather and me. Number four. Eddie, what about this one? Help me, Rhonda. Help. Get her out of my mind. Huh? Help me, Rhonda. No. Not even the ALF episode did anything for you? No. Do you remember the ALF episode where that was I so do. instrumental? I do, and I don't care. That didn't push it? No. Help me, Rhonda. Help. Get her out of my heart. All right. Number three, and we'll have fun, fun, fun till the daddy takes the team right away. Oh, ah, <laughs> Number two, good vibrations. Number one, I can hear music. Peace and love. Oh, and P.S. Fuck cancer. Yes, sir. Thank you, buddy. And yeah, there we go. Owen Edmonds, please forgive us for Uncle Barry being our open close encore for the next ramble. Sean Williams, top five Beach Boy songs. Sorry, Eddie. Their cover of California Dreamin'. Then he goes, Good Vibrations. I get around Surf and Safari. Number one. Eddie, what about this one? Well, East Coast girls are hip. I really uh, dig those styles they even wear. Even David Lee Roth couldn't get me to like that song. <laughs> I wish they all could be California. Ramble the. So he goes, 
Uh, yeah, good vibrations like around Surface Safari, California. Girls ramble the fuck on. Jerry never stopped fighting and beat this motherfucker down like Cody beats it to MTG. Shout out to Garmy member and fellow rambler Kelly Saylor, who's recovering back at home after four weeks in the hospital, which is the longest four weeks of my life, worrying about my best friend. Congrats to Kelly. Eddie, thank you for always being you, not sarcasm. And oh, yeah, to Dan Snyder, na 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 na, na 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 na. Hey, 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 goodbye. goodbye. Asshole. Hashtag Snyder, you still suck. Now if we just get rid of Jerry Jones and Vince McMahon. That's a Look, tall ask. I'm sorry. Yep. Restore the Snyderverse. That's what I'm saying. Hey! As a cowboy fan. No. The Snyderverse is over. <laughs> oh, and then, oh, wait a minute. Okay, I'm sorry. Sean Williams, you had me. Everything was fantastic. Up until this point here, Ramble, you cannot give yourself a Ramble nickname. I apologize, but it just what, can't happen. What, what's that the is, nickname? The heartbreak kid, Sean Williams. We can't. We can't do. Oh. We. It, I'm sorry. That has Sean, to be bestowed that, on you. That by has to be Ramble bestowed corporate. by Ramble Corporate, and also by Bryant Gumble. And that's <laughs> that's the other problem. Is these are so I, re- regrettably as much as I my hands are tied on this. We cannot. It can't happen. I. I but but thank you for everything else, Sean Williams. Anthony Flores, born to run for the top five Beach Boys in no particular order. It's got to be God only knows. Hang on to your ego. Hang on to your ego. Wouldn't it be nice? Good vibrations. And of course, don't worry, baby. Honorable mention to that pile of shit Kokomo. Fucking John (laughs) Stamos. Now, before I sign off, grandparents. Fucking the grandparents of children of another person. There we go. He did one. That's the worst. Grandparents. Fucking the grandparents <laughs> slash children of another person. That's the word. We never even thought about grandma. Grandpa, never even fucking. thought of that. Keep rambling, boy. That Go Anthony ahead. Flores with them. Now, if, if only Anthony had given us an example. Yes. We, he could have knocked Owen Edmonds off this. <laughs> or Uncle Barry. And we could have done Nana's playlist. Right. Yeah. Next week. <laughs> Open, close. <laughs> Man-ass playlist. <laughs> oh, fuck. So Ramble 345, uh, the most complete album. Open, close, encore, Uncle Barry's playlist. <laughs> what sneaker goes in the Hall of... When sneakers get inducted into the Hall of Fame, what sneaker is on the hat? And now the top five Beach Boys. So I, I, number five is I Get Around. Eddie. Uh, I got to call an audible on this because I, I just... You couldn't can't stand the Beach Boys. Okay, wow. So That's... I'm I'm gonna keep it in the genre of surfing songs. All right, let's go. Yeah, but let's... I'll do my top five surf songs. I'm ready. That I can kind of tolerate. That aren't the Beach Boys. <laughs> okay. Uh, number five. Yeah. I'm going uh, "Pipeline" by the Shantae's. That's a great one. "Pipeline's" an all-time instrumental. Yes. Cody, what was your number five? Uh, number five is "Help Me, Rhonda." Help me, Rhonda. So good. My number four, In My Room. That's one of my favorite Beach Boys tunes. In My, my number four non-Beach Boy Surf surfing song. song. Yeah. California Sun by the Rivieras. There it is. Uh, uh, that's a great one, too. Yes. Much well, better I'm than any Beach Boy song. West where I belong. So much better than any Beach Boy song. Cody, you're number four. <laughs> number four, California Girls. So good. My number three, God Only Knows What I'd Be Without You. Eddie? You're number three. Surf City by Jan and Dean. Jan and Dean. Beach Boy imitators themselves, Jan and Dean. You're Better serious. than the original. So th- that's okay. So how mad would you be if we did Stone Temple, a uh, top five Pearl Jam, and I just gave you all Stone Temple Pilot songs? I'm a how demolition fan. I'm a demolition how fan. How mad would you be? I'm a demolition fan, <laughs> which was a direct ripoff of the Road Warriors. It was. It's so true. there. <laughs> Cody, what is your number three? My number three is also God Only Knows. God, it's a great one. Uh, my number two, Ceylon Sailor. Eddie, your number two <laughs> song, not by the Beach Boys. Wipeout. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe by the... out. Da-na-na-na. Is that the Ventures? Surferius? Surferius. How do you say that? Surf. I think the Ventures did it first, and then those the guys covered it. I think. I think. I, I don't know. Cody, you're number know. two. My number two, Good Vibrations. Oh, so good. That is my number one. What else could it be but Good Vibrations? Eight songs in one. Brilliant songwriting. The original version, Jill, the original version was apparently almost like half an hour long, what Brian Wilson had cooked up. Uh, Eddie, you're number one. Uh, The only thing it can be, I don't know if you guys have heard about the word, 
The well, bird? The bird the is bird, the bird, word. Bird, the bird is the word. Oh, well, By the trash man. About the bird. The, 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 the bird, 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 the bird is the bird word. Is the word. Cody, what was your number one all-time Beach Boy song? Uh, number one, Wouldn't It Be Nice. Such a brilliant one, too. Oh, my God. What a great ramble. What a mm. great list. Guys, gang, Ramblers and James, Ramble 345, top five most complete albums of all time. Thank you, Graham and Faye, for that one. Uh Hall of Fame hat for Sneaker and What Would Uncle Barry Open? Because Uncle Barry's playlist. <laughs> What's the open close encore? Sean What's Williams, I Family apologize. reunion. What is the open close family encore? Family reunion. What does he play? <laughs> <laughs> Sean Williams, I apologize for the ramble rule of ramble corporate with nicknames. Maybe you'll get one. I don't know. But we can't take it. We cannot have. A, nobody gives themselves a nickname or else I'd be Big Jer. You know, we just can't do that. It just can't happen. <laughs> Big Jer. <laughs> <laughs> it just can't happen. We couldn't let you get away with that. <laughs> <laughs> Big Jer. <laughs> Big Jer. <laughs> I I distrust anyone who puts big in their own nickname anyway that's i already what if they are li- what if they're actually like smaller people and they're like that's someone. fucking Is hilarious that okay? if it's okay. a little person yes okay. if it yes. absolutely <laughs> but if you're means, big and you call yourself big but you have else. to be under four feet tall you have to be yeah. under four feet and, and you're an adult under four feet tall yes big absolutely <laughs> we will see you guys next time get those emails in we love you all stay safe everybody we will see you know where to find us you know where to love us we'll see you friday for another ramble radio until then adios a todos take care everybody <laughs>